Hello and welcome to another WJCA level physics question. This time is question 5 from June 2017's unit 4 and it's an electromagnetic induction question. What we've got is a metallic conductor placed along horizontal railway tracks and moved quickly in the direction shown and this setup is designed to measure the vertical component BV of the Earth's magnetic field. Now we can see a diagram with things like the field going into the page so we're looking from above and a 26 ohm resistor the rails are 1.4 meters apart and the speed of our conductor is 55 meters per second. We've got to explain why a current is detected in the ammeter. Well, this is an example of Faraday's law. And this tells us that an induced EMF or an EMF is induced. And in this case, it's probably worth referring to it in the flux cutting terms. So an EMF is induced since flux is cut. And because there's a complete circuit, current will flow. Next we've got to state why the current is independent of the horizontal components of the Earth's magnetic field. Well, if we're considering the horizontal component of the field, then the conductor is moving parallel to that field and isn't cutting any field lines. So, just one mark, so something quick. Along the lines of the conductor doesn't cut the vertical components, sorry, horizontal components. Next we're going to calculate a value for the vertical component of the Earth's magnetic field given that the reading on the ammeter is 184 microamps. Well we can calculate the size of the induced EMF using I times R. We've got 184 times 10 to the minus 6 for the current and the resistance is 26 ohms. Put the nose into the calculator, we end up with 4.8 times 10 to minus 3 volts. Then we could use the formula E equals BLV. Remember that's not given in the data book, but the examiners don't mind you using it. It's also worthwhile practicing the derivation of that, but for the moment let's just use it. So B is going to be E over LV. So 4.8 times 10 to the minus 3. Length was 1.4 meters and V was 55 meters per second. And that will give us near enough 62 microteslas. Next we've got to state the direction of the current in the resistor and how we obtained this direction. So easiest thing here is to use Fleming's right hand rule. We're going to point our first finger in the direction of the field which will be into the page. We're going to point our thumb in the direction of the motion and then that will show us that the current through this conductor will be upwards and hence the current through the resistor will be downwards. Finally, a student suggests that the opposing force due to the magnetic field on the moving conductor is negligible compared with the other resistive forces. And is the student correct? And we're going to justify our answer with a calculation. Well, let's calculate the size of that magnetic force. So F equals BIL, technically BIL sine theta, but the sine theta bit will be 1 because all the motion is perpendicular to the field, etc. So we had 62 micro teslas. The current was 184 microamps and the length was 1.4 meters. And if we put those into a calculator we end up with 
times 10 to the minus 8 newtons and that's a very small force so let's put a few comments down the magnetic force is very small and that's because B and I are both small And that's going to mean that this resistive force is going to be small compared to frictional forces. So just make it clear so the student is correct. So thank you very much for listening. Please remember to like and subscribe and feel free to leave any comments. Goodbye.